Alrighty, it's Tuesday, March 27th, 2012, and it's time for Comments X. Oh, another successful uh, Brock news, ni news night last night. Uh, was a little late, uh, had a lot to get through in terms of the amount of material. I mean, that's, that's the, whole, the whole problem is uh, uh, going through all the materials for the news at night is really a daunting task because there's so much of it and uh, you have to really check out your sources and where you get your information from and it's never go go uh, never a good idea to have a single source it's always a good idea and this is how I judge my story stories in terms of uh, what I what I uh, bring to the news is uh, if I can find, mul I look for multiple sources, not from the same, like, if, if you're getting the same sources, if you, let's say, I can see these as be the same sources. If you're uh, getting confirmation of a battle inside of Syria, let's say, and, you're, and it's coming from, you report they're coming from within inside Syria, and they're, and, and, and they're talking about this, uh, and they're saying one particular thing. If you get it just from one side, even if you have multiple sources on one side, uh, it's still one source. You have to have something corroborate corroborating from both sides. And if you look deep enough, you can do that. And then if you can find other players involved in it, uh, like uh, you know from another country or something like that, uh, or other people who are talking about things, incidentally, uh, and they may bring information that you may have not seen before. Uh, this would also be bring in uh, a variety of other sources, and then this is why I, say I use uh, Israel as a pretty good source because uh, if you can find discussions going on about this, the issues going on in another country inside of the Middle East, uh, you can confirm uh, what's going on, on the ground with what you're hear which what you're hearing uh, in the Israeli media. And that way you can sort of go back and forth and say what's 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 been confirmed and what's not been confirmed, and that's sort of the way I source things. I say if you, if you can pr provide multiple sources uh, on a particular subject, then that's the best way of go, 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 going about doing it. And even sources for you know it says it, you have to look at both sides of the issue. You have to look at what both sides are saying, and you have to dig on both sides. Uh, because again, just because there are two sides to a thing doesn't necessarily mean that there are two views on it. You know, one view and an opposing view. You can have multiple views. Different. There's a spectrum. There is from the point where you have one side or the other. There's a whole spectrum of views, and the more you can get of the spectrum of views on on either side of an issue the better it is that your report's going to be. And that's what I, that's, you know, I try to look at uh, not only the size, but looking at the different groups, what, what the different groups are saying. If you can find all the different groups that are involved, that are saying, and you usually, usually can. Most groups uh, really don't stay silent for too long. Uh, their whole goal, part of the whole goal is to have a media presence, and they want to stand up, and they want to be heard. So, if you can find all the groups who have an opinion or are involved in this, uh, and some groups are involved, and some groups are pretend to be involved but just simply have an opinion, but aren't necessarily involved, and if you can get all these particular opinions, then you have a really good idea of what's actually going on because you're seeing all the, you're seeing a good chunk of the perspectives or as much as the perspective as you, as you can get, uh, rather than having one or two perspectives. So. The more perspectives, the more the more sources you have, the better. And that so this is sort of where the the problem is in distilling uh, a particular uh, issue that's going on in the headlines and bringing it out for the news is that all this stuff has to be brought together. And uh, so far, I said I've gone from a half hour to an hour. We did, we have two hour two hour two half hour uh, segments. One is on domestic policy, focusing primarily on uh, U.S. domestic politics, and the other one is foreign affairs. So you could uh, sort of see how uh, the uh, 
the policies end up work. You can see how policies that that are that affect the United States uh, domestically can affect uh, uh, people globally. You know how domestic affairs spills over into foreign affairs. Uh, what else going on? Oh yeah, on the more mundane subject of sort of clicking around YouTube. Uh, it was a pleasant, a pleasant surprise, uh, to say the least, uh, and it's a bit of a pun here, because, uh, I found out one of my internet friends, Angela, uh, is going to, uh, my old, uh, junior high. So, that's, that's you, know, you don't know who you're going to meet on the internet, that's, it's, it's so funny, that, you know, you think typically, because most of the people I meet are, are, are far away, they're in other countries or in uh, other cities and states and stuff like that, but to find someone who's a neighbor, uh, who's <laughs> literally, you know, a couple of streets down from you, that's, that, that's, and has gone to your old, in more well, it's, to go, gone to your old uh, junior high. That's a that's a lot of that's a lot of fun. <laughs> that's, 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 that's funny. Uh, uh, and then uh, I went by uh, Jessica. Uh, we all wear pantyhose. She's another one of my internet friends. Uh, and she got into a weird bit of a tiff. It wasn't her fault. It was I don't know. I guess these there's some people on the internet on YouTube who are really really sensitive. You know, I mean, my, from my point of view, overly sensitive. I mean, all she, she she made a joke about how you know, and she was joking about this how stupid guys are sometimes, right? And she was joking, she wasn't serious. And this guy thought this whole thing was sexist, and then you know that you shouldn't be saying this, and then, you know, on and on and on about this whole you know how she was you know wrong for saying it, and that if she didn't apologize for this, that he'd unsubscribe. I mean, give me a break. I mean, come on. Are you serious? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't under necessarily understand angry people who are uh, particularly angry all the time. That they're they're they're. And I've seen them. There are people up there who are looking to pick fights everywhere. I mean, they're just they're just literally they're itching and waiting to fight. And they'll pick on every little tiny little thing. It doesn't matter if, if you're trying to avoid the fight or, or being polite or whatever it is. They're looking for this fight. They're, they're itching. They're, 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 they're really nitpicky type of people. And I don't, I, I don't really, I really don't understand these people. I don't understand why they are the way they are. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you know... I don't. I don't think you know. You know, losing one or two subscribers is not a problem. Uh, I'm not exactly popular on the internet anyway, so uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, for me, uh, these things don't matter. It, it, you'll, you'll get up there. People will see some of your work. They'll, some people will like it. Some people won't like it. Uh, it's really neither here nor there. You do what you want on the internet anyway, so uh, there will be some people who like it. That's it. Some people don't like it. So. Anyways, uh, I'm going to get the day started. Uh, I'm a little late. <laughs> You'll see that this is coming up a little late. For those of you who don't know, uh, the hour and the title, the uh, I have a, a, a decimal number, like 8. This one will more than likely be 18.5. 18.5 stands for 16... Uh, stands for uh, uh, 16 hours and 30 minutes. Uh, so it's it's the d the thirty minutes is done as part of part of the hour as a decimal, and it's on the twenty four hour clock. So sixteen hours is six o'clock p.m. and because it's sixteen point five, it's that means we're we're at six thirty. So that gives you an idea of where, when I actually put up the comment sex, and you can sort of and I did this because. My comment section are, aren't always exactly the same time. There seems to be a drift in the comment sex. And that's kind of how my day, in terms of when, when I'm doing things, drifts around. And so you can sort of get a gauge for that and see uh, uh, why sometimes I have the uh, sleep deprivation and the... And this is the bizarre, bizarre part. It's, it's bizarre when you get fatigue and adrenaline hitting at the exact same time. It, it, it is... 
<laughs> the bizarrest things start to happen to you. Anyways, I will see you later tonight for the news. So, uh, and I might be putting out some extra, uh, uh, some more, uh, test broadcasts for, uh, the Bass Institute channel, uh, based on the, uh, adventures in the library. So, if you're into books, if you're into reading, go check out the Bass Institute. Uh, we're, de I'm developing a series, uh, uh, about uh, adventures in the library, how to go from reading fiction to what you're doing. If you're doing that now, if you like reading, going from from just simply getting have reading and getting books into expanding into the library and doing library research, s extending from uh, the books you're already reading. So, and I said this is useful to uh, any of the university students uh, either for the UEP, which is uh, from grade three to grade 12, or undergrads, or even if you're just finishing and you haven't found a job yet and really don't have a good grasp of library science, because this is how you can find a job from library science, actually. Uh, going out and searching for a career and getting a job is actually uh, connected to library science. So, is the, the, you know, if, a large, if you're having a hard time finding a job in your field, the hole that you're missing is in library science and particularly it's career searching within library science so you could use th this series will sort of give you an example of how to go use the library and, and or build a library to get what you want out of it all right so uh, i'll see you tonight then